they've told the owner to go out and try and blow it up. Man, it revs so high. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, no, man. How awesome does that sound? guys welcome back to the channel today you join me in a subaru impreza sti type uk this car runs 470 brake horsepower it's got a fully forged engine it's been stroked to a 2.1 liter and it's also got an upgraded turbocharger over 20,000 pounds of modifications but if you want to see the full spec head over to my website lfgames.com where you can see every last detailed modification on this car as i say 20 grand has been spent on it and also if you're brand new to the channel somebody will be winning this car this wednesday at 10 30 for literally 99p so guys we're going to go for a little pov drive and uh, maybe even compare it to my recent purchase uh, the evo 6 rs so guys enjoy the video yes people right so we're on low boost right now it's a dyno proven 400 horsepower so yeah guys i'm not gonna lie to you i've been driving this car a little bit and uh, it's taken me a little while to adapt and get used to it man um of course we're four wheel drive guys these are two liter turbocharged from factory you know you're talking wrc technology man these are real road going rally cars of course slightly numb down a little bit like creature comforts like air conditioning electric windows but these are true like sports cars as in obviously a rival to my evo mine's a 99 6 rs this one's a 2004 so different generations probably compare um, maybe a maybe a seven to this car the car feels a lot bigger than the six without fail it feels a lot bigger it just with this big scoop up front um, it's something that you almost got to get used to you can't really see down the end of the bonnet visibility is good the steering wheels pretty big but it took a few days to adapt to driving it like you know just getting the clutch point correct the the, the throttle the rev matching the steering it's not as i say it's not very responsive the turbo's not you know the quickest balling turbo but it does come on pretty quick about 4k it comes on hard you know we'll just pull it on high boost because we're not going to take it for some long drive <laughs> now <laughs> now you see that this car is an absolute rocket ship so yeah we've got proper four-wheel drive now this is the first time i'm actually even throwing it into a corner but look third gear the boost it's very very strong it's like a stepped boost like almost boost by gear third gear i don't think we've got the full 470 but fourth gear onwards definitely you feel that extra horsepower we've got engine tuner who actually built this engine uh, they tuned the car also they're supposed to be very well known in the subaru game and um yeah as mentioned the owner previous owner spent twenty thousand pounds let's get a window down <laughs> yeah, no, man. how awesome does that sound it's very involving you have to think whilst driving this car it's not effortless don't get me wrong it's effortless traction like you know it feels planted but yeah guys modifications we're talking upgraded brakes obviously they come with brembo's from factory we've got upgraded discs uh braided lines pads uh, we've got upgraded flywheel, upgraded clutch. What do we have? BC Racing coilovers, which have had a custom geo set up. So this car on this road here, like the camber's a little bit off and you can feel it really sort of, it's not pulling me, but it's a little bit nervous. But here, that's a very harsh bump there. And you can see the BC Racing coilovers soaks it up nice. We've got some serious low down torque guys, honestly initially there is almost a bit of torque steer just like my evo obviously i drove my evo in the wet with semi slicks um yeah the way that this car just initially pulls away is you feel the diffs like almost locking up almost like when you weld the diff in like a 320 or you know like those 328 z36s you know it 
really sort of locks up um, the rear wheels when you when you're making small turns but you can drive this comfortably you know if you want to cruise it you know it's not a super fast balling turbo so it doesn't encourage you to want to drive it fast you do got to really go out your way to to want to push it I'm doing this for the content obviously <laughs> man it's bloody fast but look you can see like I'm left right left right little correction it's not that it feels like there's anything wrong with it but um, the previous owner you can see look we've got a Nürburgring sticker here that's because he does like to do track days and this car has been tested and proven to be reliable they've told the owner to go out and try blow it up man it revs so high Whoa. let's uh, switch to uh, this anti-lag set here let's see if that does anything Oh, yeah, definitely does something. <laughs> Better turn that off because that is extremely loud, boy. I mentioned in the Evo how it's almost like in sections, the steering. Sorry, the steering rack's a lot slower. That's one thing I'm noticing. Obviously my R, my obviously my Evo being an RS, it's got the quicker steering rack. Very powerful on boost this car. Man, it's fast. I reckon this might be faster than the, the M3. But yeah, if you are interested to hear or see more modifications on this car just head over to lfgames.com and you'll see all of the modifications done to this car the list is way too long for me to mention right now you can see we've also got a rear view camera i'm not sure if there's a bit of glare you may not be able to see properly but yeah it's a special special car man and i actually chose this car because of the looks you know i, I always go by looks and of course spec as well i could see that it had you know the forge engine it was stroked upgraded turbocharger it's only done 7,000 miles this uh, rebuilt engine the turbocharger has also been rebuilt the car itself the chassis is actually on 70,000 miles but still feels very analog and you know involving but this is a very involving car man like it's a lot of effort to, to, to um, initially get driving as I say I've got used to it over the couple of days or the 10 days should I say I've had it but this is what's bloody cool man I love the fact that I have to think or I've had to adapt to drive this car don't get confused guys these cars they, they, they do the numbers they're capable do you know what I'm saying they're capable yeah I, I have enjoyed having this car around me I'm not gonna lie to you and I nearly did when I say nearly like I did think about it a lot should I buy it should I buy it should I buy it the reality is like right now it's probably the wrong time but I wouldn't mind having this sit next to my Evo you can see all the dashes all been flocked um, the condition is uh, really good man you know for the price the tickets we're doing guys 99p um, the odds are really good I think we've done 37,000 tickets yeah hopefully I've done the car a little bit of justice I mean what's my what's my final thoughts I mean like if I was to like, like now I've now I've driven the Subaru like I've driven a few on the channel some of you'll know my uh, my other YouTube channel my main channel that you may know me for living life fast I've driven maybe two or three Subarus maybe more I'm not too sure but you know I've never been let loose by myself right now I've got nobody watching me I can drive it exactly how I want to drive it I, I would still say that the Evo you know for me personally it's more my style of car you know look we've just gone for a little spirited drive then but I wasn't inspired to want to push it in the corners I think maybe the MDX turbo or whatever this turbocharger is on this car just think where the the punch is so strong it's not like my evo 6 is it's 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 got an evo 9 turbo the punch doesn't feel as aggressive as this car so being like mid corner on throttle this doesn't feel like that car you don't want to be on throttle mid corner the evo makes me want to go push it as hard as i can into a corner this setup doesn't but here you know it feels very neutral it doesn't feel like it's wants to understeer obviously we're not pushing it but
So guys, we're back at the unit. Sorry about the ending. I think my GoPro started to overheat. Anytime you film 4K, literally these things have a meltdown. I don't know what that's all about. But what I was saying at the end is I like to build speed round roundabouts just to see how cars respond. Like my Evo, for example, if you sort of build speed round a roundabout, rather than it wanting to understeer, this car will step out from the rear. Whereas as I was doing it in this car, I wasn't pushing it too hard, but felt very neutral, very 50-50. Don't know whether it would have understeered. It felt more rear bios, like it would have stepped out from the rear but you know you definitely feel the fact the car's longer probably feels a little bit more planted whereas the evo you know if you travel fast into a corner this car will just sort of it's it's very tail happy straight up guys this car is tail happy but um of course this isn't my car i'm not going to sort of drive it to its absolute limit one of you guys will be winning this car for 99p it, the live draw is wednesday at 10 30 tick a link in the description full modifications and full specification on the website lfgames.com but yeah guys really enjoyed it always been a fan of the subaru been nice to sort of be let loose by myself without an owner but if you have any more content ideas throw them down in the comment section it'd be cool to do a back-to-back -back, maybe with sid and the scooby me and the evo but um i don't know if we're gonna have time probably only a few days left as you're watching this so guys if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i'll see you next time Girl in my hotel that's five stars yeah. Make the roof yeah. disappear